Hey guys! So um, today is really exciting for me because um, this is a brand new type of video for my channel and I've had this idea for a very long time. Maybe since like the beginning of my YouTube channel I've wanted to do this type of video for you guys. And it's kind of funny because, um, what was that, like a week ago, two weeks ago or something, Phoebe Moon posted a video and the title, I was like, oh my god, did she take my idea already? Like, I've been, <laughs> I've been thinking of this video idea for a year and a half and right as soon as I'm about to film it, she takes it. No, it's, it comes up in completely different. But um, anyways, that's a beside the point. This, <laughs> I know, I'm sorry, I'm rambly. That's kind of what this video is going to be like, though. Um, this is, I'm going to call it a chit chat paint with me. Um, it's kind of like the chit chat get ready with me that like beauty girls do where they, you know, talk to you while you, they, you know, do their makeup. Well, we're going to be doing my nails and, um, I'm just going to be chatting with you because I just love to talk with you guys when it's not like unstructured videos for me sometimes are like the most fun ones for me to film. If I don't have to talk about anything in particular, I can just have fun and just talk with you guys. So that's kind of what we're going to do. Um, if you have a more clever name for this series or whatever, let me know because that would be totally awesome. Because <laughs> um, I'm not sure if I like the whole chit chat paint with me idea, but you know, whatever. We're going to go with it for this video because I don't have any, any better ideas as of yet. Now, today we're going to be doing some black and yellow nail art, because if you guys don't know, I am like obsessed with like super contrasting colors. So black and white, black and yellow, um, you know, the really intense contrast is like my favorite my favorite color combos. Um, and I was like, oh, let's do like a regular, you know, traditional black and yellow, but I think I've done that like a bajillion times. So we're gonna do a little bit of a different kind of black and yellow thing today. Um, we're gonna use this polish right here. This is like a butterscotch yellow and it's called a butterscotch. I don't know if you guys will be able to see. Um, but yeah, it's called butterscotch and this is just uh, Formula X like uh, dark matter from the 22 set. Oh my god, I'm throwing things around. Um, <laughs> we're just gonna use this because I'm trying to finish it up because, uh, yeah, I'm like halfway through it and I just want to get done with it. So we're just gonna use that and I'm gonna do like a dot of cure because, I don't know, I just feel like it, I guess. And I guess we'll just get started and yeah. Um, yeah. That's, that's the amount of enthusiasm I have today. Well, no, I'm really enthusiastic. That's the amount of, um, making sense I <laughs> have today. <laughs> yeah, I'm, um, just putting some nail polish remover, um, on my nails because I put on lotion not that long ago, and so I'm just trying to get off all the oil and gunk and everything. So, how are you guys today? I'm like, I don't know, I'm in a weird mood. I woke up feeling funky today, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Last night was the Super Bowl, and I'm just gonna tell you right now, I do not like football. I don't, I hate sports, to be completely honest. I'm just, not, not my thing. But my husband's really into it, and for some reason, out of nowhere, like, my family decided, I guess, that they were gonna be into sports. We never used to be into sports ever, but all of a sudden, my whole family's really into sports. <laughs> and we had a Super Bowl party at my parents' house last night, and yeah, everybody was really sad when the Seahawks lost, because, yeah. I live in Washington and I legit, the whole freaking state of Washington was like going crazy, like Super Bowl crazy. Since last year actually, since the Seahawks won last year, the whole state will just not shut up about the freaking Seahawks and it's been really annoying. So although I'm sad that my husband is sad, I am um, very relieved that <laughs> there's not going to be any more Seahawks mania because yeah. I'm just tired of it. I'm putting on my base coat right now. I'm using the, um, sorry if you can hear my dog in the background. I'm using the, oh my goodness, don't drop things, Hannah. The Nail Teaks Formula 2 base coat. I've talked about this one a lot. I featured it in my nail care routine and a bunch of other videos, I'm sure. It's for weak, peely nails. Blah, 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 blah. You sh I'm sure you've heard this, sh this spiel already. And it's not the best for, like, if you want your nail polish to stay on long, but I like to change my polish, so, yeah. 
I actually like a reason to change my polish because sometimes I'll get lazy or like, I don't know, like I love to paint my nails, but I, oh my God, I'm getting crap all over my cuticles. Um, <laughs> but sometimes I find it hard to like make myself do my nails because I'm like, oh, well, I should clean and oh, I need to edit and I got to go grocery shopping. And if I do all of that stuff, then I can paint my nails. And I probably shouldn't. I mean, yes, of course, everybody has like things to do and I should do the things that I need to do. But I don't know, like I should make time to be happy instead of like punishing myself if I'm not perfect every single day then I can't paint my nails which I mean that doesn't always happen but I want to get better about painting my nails like all the freaking time I have no idea how long this video is gonna be guys <laughs> I'm already five minutes in and we haven't even finished base coat that's how it's gonna be though this is experimental so if it doesn't work out it doesn't work out but you know we're just we're testing the waters oh and if you're wondering why one hand has long nails and the other hand has not long nails you can watch my um, nail care routine video <laughs> I know I was supposed to cut them all the same length and I kind of still want to but at the same time I just really like the length these are at and like for this nail art that we're gonna do I think it would be really fun to keep it you know, long for the pictures. <laughs> I'm all about like making my nails look pretty for Instagram pictures. It's ridiculous. Oh, and I just want to show you really quick. We're going to be using Sege V. Oh my God. See, look at me. I'm dropping things everywhere. We're going to be using Sege V. You know, I'm sure you guys have heard about Sege V, but this bottle I've had for like probably like a year and a half, maybe two years. <laughs> I've had this exact same bottle and I haven't gotten a new one. And the reason for that, I mean, it's completely full as you can see. The reason for that is because I get this thing and this thing has lasted me for freaking ever, like two years at least. And um, this thing is amazing. I got it like on Amazon. Like it was like, you get this thing, like a full bottle of Sege V and then the refill bottle. And then I'm pretty sure it also came with this. This is the Sege Restore. I'm pretty sure it also came with this. But like, if you like Sege V but you don't like paying $6 a bottle, I think it was like $10 for like the kit. And then if you just keep using Sege Restore, you know, it's all good. I know some people hate Sege because it needs to get restored, but you know, whatever. Whatever, it's the best thing for my price point. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do a black accent nail and then all the other nails are gonna be the yellow. And I'm just forewarning you guys that if you were thinking that I'm like some magician when it comes to painting your nails, you would be wrong. I am not that great. I'm okay. I mean, it's taken years of practice but I guarantee you at some point in this video, I'm going to get nail polish all over my cuticles. And that's just because, you know, that's reality. <laughs> it's just how it works sometimes. That's definitely gonna need a second coat. This is like really kind of gloopy. I'm not very happy with this right now, but I guess it's really old, so whatever. We're just gonna paint it really quickly and then get on to the pretty color because, yeah. Well, it's an ugly pretty color. I don't know, what do you guys think of butterscotch colors? Wow, look at that. This polish is not so good. It's like super hard, thick to work with. Super hard, thick to work with. <laughs> good job, Hannah. See, look, I just got on my cuticles. It's kind of hard to paint your nails at this angle. Like, it's no bueno. That's been my new phrase lately. It's no bueno. Yeah, look at that. I just got that all over my cuticles. Don't judge me, okay? Just, if you were thinking about judging me, stop right now. <laughs> all right, and we're gonna put this on the rest of the nails. I'm really excited for this because it's, like I said, it's like an ugly pretty color. I'm gonna shake this a little bit. And I don't usually, I love to look at ugly pretty colors, but I don't like to wear ugly pretty colors very often. But I'm really stoked to try this. I ain't even gonna lie. And I really like the brush on these. Glad this is going on quite smoothly. Look at that. I mean, it's gonna need a second coat, but. Oh my God, look at, there's like a hair on this nail already. God, I hate that. 
Downside of being a nail polish addict and having pets, there's hair and fuzzies, like they get into your manicure all the freaking time. So annoying. <laughs> I wish there was something I could do to make the pet hair not get into my manicure. That would be amazing. Oh my God, this isn't even working. So I'm super excited because last night I found this group on Facebook. Um, I've never joined a group on Facebook before. I've heard people talk about them. Like I know Stacy Polished Ways, she's talked about them and stuff in the past. And I don't know why I never joined a group on Facebook. Wow, could you even see that guys? I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I've never joined one of those face group book, Facebook groups before, um, and I found one for the Pacific Northwest. If you guys don't know, I live in Spokane, Washington. I'm not really hiding that. It's whatever. It is what it is. <laughs> I'm not anticipating any stalkers or anything, um, and even if there were stalkers, you know, it's kind of hard to find me in... It's, it's, it's a fairly big city. It'd be really hard to find me. But anyways, um, I just, I've so enjoyed finding friends, um, here on YouTube and stuff, like finding people that enjoy the same things that I do. It's been like amazing because I literally thought that nobody, I mean, I guess I didn't, I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain. I didn't think that nobody liked nail polish the way that I did, but I was sure that I would never like make friends with people that got it. You know, like I would be the only one ever in my life that understood the obsession and everything, which, you know, that's obviously not true anymore because I've met a ton of amazing people on here, but I didn't know that there would be any, anybody anywhere near my area that enjoys polish the way that I do. So I found this group called like Northwest, or not Northwest, <laughs> Pacific Northwest Nail Polish Addicts or Polish Addicts or something like that. And I've already met two other girls that live in Spokane that are also part of this group. So that's pretty awesome. And there's going to be like a meetup and everything. I'm pretty stoked. So if you're in the Pacific Northwest, so you know, Washington, Oregon, Idaho, um, then, you know, look up that group on Facebook because it's pretty awesome and they do meet up. It seems like they do meetups all the time. I mean, I don't know a ton about it because I just joined the group last night, <laughs> but yeah, they're going to have a meetup in February. Well, they're going to have a few actually, but they're going to have an Eastern Washington meetup in February and I'm so excited. I'm totally going to go to that one. So if any of you guys will be there, you should let me know. That would be really cool. I mean, probably not. I'd be like a crazy coincidence if you were, but that would be cool if you were. So I think it's dry enough to start my second coat already, right? Oh wait, I should probably do black first. I'm gonna do the black part first. So I'm gonna do my second coat of the black. And I just cannot wait to get through this black polish. I'm just not about this life. Ugh. It's so thick and gloopy, I don't like it. I'm sorry if this video is boring for any of you. I, I actually tried to film this video like a while ago and um, my camera cut me off and it like ruined the last half of the video. And so I was like, oh shoot. And so I'm just trying to like, I, I was like, oh, I'll just film it again. I'll just start over. And I'm kind of pissed because there was some interesting conversation top kit topics in that one. Like it was pretty awesome. Let me know if you guys want me to post it anyways. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, this is like crazy gloopy. I hate this polish. Well, I I liked it a lot better when it wasn't so bad. But this is like horrendous. Oh my god. The issues that I'm having right now, the struggle is real. I hope that this turns out the way that I want it to. Because I'm going to be really sad if it turns out ugly in the end. I'm going to be so sad. For those of you who think that I'm faking it in like my bloopers or like my videos that I'm not actually like this, that I'm just camera personality, you would be 100 bajillion percent wrong. <laughs> because I kid you not, I am a psychopath in my everyday life always. Like you can ask anybody that knows me in person. You can go ask Katie if you want. You can go ask Jessica. Like I'm just... It's just my personality to be very, yeah, 
I don't even know what you call that. But I do not fake in the bloopers. I'm always real with you guys. I just want you to know that. Like, like that would be stupid. Why would I fake that? Oh my god, I'm getting stuff all over my cuticles. I'm not even on my game today. I mean, I guess I'm never really that on my game, but... <laughs> the struggle as real. I really hate that saying. I don't know why I say it. Like, I get super annoyed when people say that all the time. I don't know what's wrong with me. I and mean, just so you know, if the conversation ever lags, I'll probably just, like, speed through and just, yeah, fast forward. And I might, like, turn off the camera while my nail polish is drying and stuff, because that's not fun to watch paint dry. Like, isn't that a saying, how not fun it is to watch paint drying? <laughs> Yeah. Oh my goodness. So it has been like kind of crazy weather for us. Oh my god. See, look at how horrible that is on my cuticles. Whatever. Um, it's been like, okay, usually in Washington, at least in my part of Washington, people are like, oh, you live in Washington? Like Seattle? Like raining? No. <laughs> That's way on the other side of the state. It's, it's completely different weather over here. Um, it snows, it's cold. We do have all four seasons, um, but right now it's really snowy and cold. And in Seattle, even though they have four seasons supposedly, like raining is most of their seasons. That is true. Oh my God, oh my God, that was so sad. I just stuck my finger. Do you see that? I just stuck my finger on that. That wasn't fun. I don't even know how I did that. Let's try and fix that. But yeah, on this side of Washington, the weather is nothing like Seattle's. Yes, it rains sometimes, but yeah. But lately, the weather has just been like weird. Like usually our winters are super snowy and cold and everything. And it's been a little bit snowy and a little bit cold. Um, well, I mean a lot for most people's standards, I'd say, but it has not been its normal amount of irritatingly blizzardy cold and everything. And it's so weird because like the whole rest of the country, I guess not the whole rest, but you know, there's like those crazy blizzards on the East Coast and everything and like people have like feet, like feet, <laughs> they have feet of snow. <laughs> wow, Hannah. They have several feet of snow and every time it snows... So far this winter, it'll snow like all day and all night and then it'll melt partially and then it'll be frozen. So we'll have like freezing, <laughs> the roads will be like two inches thick of ice, which is not very fun to drive on. And of course, you know, we don't close the schools or anything like that. So it's kind of difficult for people to like get on with their lives when it's like crazy icy outside but whatever and it's been crazy foggy too it's so weird i should probably stop talking about the weather because i highly doubt that you guys care about it as you can see we've done two coats of our base and some nails look fabulous and some nails look horrible um i think i'm gonna off go off camera and let this dry and then we'll come back and we'll do our dots and yeah I'm kind of sad that this video isn't going as I planned at least how the first one went maybe I will post the first one I don't know guys I don't know we'll see but I'm gonna let this dry so while I waited for my polish to dry I was checking Instagram and I just wanted to show you guys and I'm really unsure of how well it's going to show up on camera um, but this is what my Instagram looks like in case you were curious and you didn't know I have an Instagram and I post a lot of like pictures and like there's like swatch pictures and manicure pictures and nail art and um, other stuff I put post personal stuff up there too sometimes and I don't know it's just yeah if you were curious then you know check it out. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not like trying to like give myself a plug or anything, but if you didn't know, I do have an Instagram and that's what it looks like. It's at Hannah Eve Nails It. So anyways, I let this dry for like, you know, a little while. I don't know. <laughs> um, we're going to start doing the dots because I'm impatient and yeah. Um, I think I'm going to do the yellow dots first just because 
I don't know. I don't know. I have no reasoning for any of this. So on the black nail, we're going to do yellow dots. Oh, by the way, I got this at Rite Aid for $1.90. I don't know if all Rite Aids are like clearancing right now, but mine was like getting renovated. And so there's a ton of clearance stuff. Anyways, I'm like all over the place today, aren't I? <laughs> um, we're going to uh, use this to dot on the black nails and then black to dot on the yellow nails. So creative, huh? This is just super easy, and I, I don't know. I've had more creative ideas in the past, but whatever. This just looked like fun. I don't know, it's fun. I'm gonna use this little tin thingy. It's like a Mrs. Fields. <laughs> it's like a million years old, but I just use this, the inside of this little tin for nail art purposes sometimes. I just blob some polish right there. Look at, there it is. And then I'm going to use this dotting tool. Oh, maybe I won't use this one. Maybe I'll use this one. Yeah. I think I'll use the small end on this white one. And I am not perfect at this by any means. I just kind of, you know, BS it, to be honest. <laughs> and lately I've been liking the smaller dots that are like farther apart from each other. Wow, that one's like getting too small. Oh, geez, look at that. Oh, God, Hannah, get your crap together. Why can't you do it? I'm just gonna pretend like that didn't happen. Or we can just make a huge mess. We'll figure it, we'll deal with that at cleanup time. <laughs> we'll figure that out later. <laughs> I'm just going to keep going. There is no right way or wrong way to do nail art. If you make a mess or make a fool of yourself, good for you. <laughs> All right, that's that's good enough. I'm going to go with that. That'll work. Now, when I'm dotting on my non-dominant hand, it is bad. It's bad. So be forewarned. This is going to be bad. Wow, there's like a hair on here. So don't judge me too harshly because I am not good at dotting on my non-dominant hand. It is not easy for me. Oh shoot, it's starting to do that stringy thing. I'm gonna clean it off. Oh geez, look at me. I'm like such a klutz. This is what nail art is like for me. <laughs> I'm just all klutzy and all over the place and yeah, I'm gonna put some more dots on here too because the polish is starting to dry. Oh my goodness. Is this entertaining at all, guys? Okay, I'm shaking so bad. I'm so bad at this. Oh my god, that was bad. This looks stupid on this hand. <laughs> so like, for me, painting my nails is both like therapeutic and calming, but it's also... Oh geez, that was bad. It can also be like <laughs> a really stressful experience that was horrible that's just bad let's just pretend that that didn't happen guys let's just whatever let's pretend let's just pretend but yeah no joke if i'm painting my nail <laughs> oh my god it can get so stressful because i'm just i don't know maybe i'm just too much of a perfectionist sometimes it's bad it's a problem i just get all why aren't you working right? And I've been known to get angry if my manicure idea doesn't work out the way I want it to, which is not right. That's not how a person should act, especially an adult, especially. Wow, Anna. Oh my God, did I just smudge it? Okay, I think we're good. And with the black ones, we can't mess up. We cannot afford to mess up here. because it will get everywhere. Oh my God, this is already so gloopy. Usually when I do dots, I do like a line down the middle because I don't know, it's easiest. Oh my God, did you just see that? <laughs> oh my God, that was so bad. That was bad. I think I'm gonna get a different black. This is not working out well. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna use Old Faithful here. 
That was bad. Okay, see, at least that's not on the picture-taking hand. Rule of thumb, or not, no, not rule of thumb. Actually, do you guys know where that comes from? Oh my god, okay, I'm gonna tell you in a second, but like, just before I forget my thought, um, if you're gonna do nail art, don't be like me, don't get all stressful, go with the flow. If you make a huge mistake, then, you know, roll with it. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna take this nail off, I'm not gonna start all over, because I'll probably only wear this manicure for like a day or so anyways. So I'm not gonna freak out, but yeah. Well, if it was on a picture taking finger, then I probably would freak out. <laughs> it's not, so we're gonna pretend like it's okay. But anyways, rule of thumb. Okay, if you guys know what this is, you know, it, some of you may already know, um, it's horrible. There's so many phrases and things out there that sound completely harm harmless. Like, oh, everybody says that, you know, like I wonder where that came from. <sighs> They, they're, for the most part, oh wow, I didn't even do that on camera, I'm sorry, I just did that. Um, there's so many of those phrases and things out there that are just horrible, like, okay, rule of thumb means that, <clears throat> like, there used to be a law, like, you can beat your wife as long as the stick or whatever that you're using to beat her with is, like, less thick, as thick or less thick than your thumb. So it's the rule of thumb. So you can beat her if it's like, if it's like this or a little bit, you know, smaller than that, then sure, you can beat the crap out of your wife, whatever. If it's thicker than that, then it's illegal. Like, <laughs> isn't that insane? <laughs> Where things like that come from, it just blows my mind. It's, yeah. Or like, um, Ring Around the Rosie is about like the plague. It's just weird. I don't know exactly how, what, what the deal is with that one. I can't remember the whole rule with that one but it's like um ring around the rosy a pocket full of posy like they would put um and I could be wrong this is just what I remember from like middle school history class <laughs> but um they would like fill their pockets with flowers because the smell of death was bad <laughs> and like you'd get a ring around your wrist or something like ring around the rosy is the ring around your wrist or I, I don't know I don't know much about it but yeah it's just kind of insane to me the the kinds of things that you don't even realize are really freaking messed up yeah and like they you know nursery rhymes that we t teach our kids and stuff <laughs> it's crazy let me know if you guys have any more of those like stories or whatever nursery rhymes gone wrong things because I'm I don't know that's so fascinating fascinating to me fashionating for me I'm so good that reminds me me and Michael one of our favorite hobbies especially Michael is to um make up different words to um the songs on the radio and make them sound ridiculous <laughs> like for the longest time we couldn't figure out what the take me to church song what um what the words were I mean we figured it out now but and my sister she yells at me every time we sing it like this because I just got to mess up so I'm gonna try and take some of that overflow away she yells at me when I sing it like this because she loves that song so much but um how does it go it's like take me to church and we don't know the, the word this was before we learned the words I mean um and it would be like you know take me to church da 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 shla na 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 and now every time somebody says, well, anything that sounds like they're about to start singing Take Me to Church, me and Michael just, like, in unison, we're like, shla na 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 Which makes no sense. If you guys don't know us, then <laughs> you'd think we were crazy. And we probably are. Wow, now I'm forgetting which one I did. I hate when I dab on black and then I don't remember which thing of black I was using. Maybe it was this one. I don't even know. Okay, so I've been super obsessed with the show Supernatural lately. Um, my sister got me into it, my younger sister, Lily. She is so amazing. I love that girl. She is the bomb.com. Um, <laughs> uh, she turned me on to that show, and now me and Michael are both crazy obsessed with it. And, like, we're just binge-watching the whole thing on Netflix, which is, it's been really fun. But I just got to the point where Castiel just, like, died. He just, like, exploded or something from Le the Leviathans or whatever. 
And don't, you know, no spoilers, please. Oh my god, don't spoil anything for me. I'm pretty sure that he comes back, but he was like my favorite character. And so, I'm sad. I'm sad. I can't wait for him to come back. I'm sure he will, because that would be really stupid of them to kill him off, I think. It would be a really stupid move on the show, I think. But it's so cool, because my sister, my younger sister, Lily, she is... Um, turning 15. Oh my god, these dots are like way bigger than on the other nails. Whatever. We're rolling with it. Um, she's turning 15, um, in this, what is it? The 23rd? Yeah, the 23rd. And it's so weird because, um, I'm not 15. <laughs> I'm 23 and my older sister is 30. And it's so weird because me and my older sister are like, I don't know, seven years, eight years apart. And we're like best friends. I mean, like, like ever. <laughs> and um, me and my younger sister are getting to that point now where we can start being like best friends too. And so it's so weird because we're at such different stages in our life, you know, like, you know, seven, eight years, maybe, I don't even know. There's almost, there's like nine years difference between me and my younger sister, I think. And there's like huge age difference and we're like at way different stages in our life, but yet we can all be like best friends. And that's just, I don't know. I think it's so cool because sisters are cool. And don't judge me again when I do this hand and probably royally F it up because that's how I roll. See, look at, I, look at that. Oh my God, Hannah. <sighs> if people ask to see my nails, I'll just tell them, look at the pretty hand. Oh my God, this is horrendous. Okay, you know what? We're not, we're not, we don't even care. We're just going. <laughs> we're just going. <laughs> oh my God, this is bad. It almost looks like cheetah print now. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if I'll even finish this. I don't know. This is just horrible. I probably won't wear this as a full manicure. Another thing that you guys might not know is that when I do nail art, I love the way it looks and everything, but it's rare that I'll actually wear it. We're just doing like random dots on this hand, I guess. <laughs> no, I don't even think I'm gonna keep this hand like this. This looks so bad. This hand looks, oh, so pretty. And this one's like, oh, so bad. I don't know. Maybe I'll just fin I'll just forget about this hand. I like to take the pictures and like for it to be pretty and it looks good on this hand. And sometimes, okay, dots are hard for me. Uh, usually most nail art I can do just fine on my other hand, but dots are hard for me. <laughs> oh my God, I feel like such an idiot right now. Maybe I'll just, I don't know, clean this up and call it good. I don't know, what do you guys think? You know, I just realized what time it is and I am kind of running out of time. So I think what I'm gonna do is we're gonna just top coat this and like clean up and everything. And then I'll worry about this hand later. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna finish it, I don't know. But we're just gonna like top coat it and call it a day on this nail art <laughs> because I have no choice. There's a dog hair or something in my sedge feet. Can you guys see that? Oh my God, it's so, so annoying, whatever. When you're doing dots, make sure that your polish is like dry, or at least sort of dry, because it might smear, but it's sage beet, so it doesn't, I don't know, I don't get smearing problems with sage beet very much, because it's a really soft brush, and it's really thick, so I can just, you know, who cares if I make a mistake? <laughs> Do you guys like this nail art? It's okay, right? I don't know. I'm feeling very unsure of myself. I don't know. Oh my god, now I have like a million songs rushing into my head right now. Like a, I don't wanna work, I just wanna bang on the drum all day. Did you guys know that song? I played that in high school band. That's where me and Michael met, was band class in high school. Well, we went to the same middle school too and I noticed him and thought he was like a super stud because he was like a great trumpet player and I was like, ooh, he's so cute. Look at him do that trumpet solo. I know, that was really weird. <laughs> we were total band geeks. That was where it all started. 
and that's where we fell in love. And then, let's see, we've been together for um, eight years. And we've been married. This, this year will be our five-year anniversary. So, that's, I don't know. I'm proud of us. People said we wouldn't make it because we were young. But you know what? Five years of marriage later and eight years together, I can say that we did pretty dang good. So, yeah, shove it, people that didn't believe in us. <laughs> and I'm going to clean up the edges on this because I need to take this picture and then get my butt going. Because the day is running away from me. When I clean up, I don't know if you guys do this too, but, like, if I'm cleaning up, I have to, like, do this, like, on a piece of paper or something. And it absorbs really cool. Like, absor absorbs really cool. <laughs> it absorbs really fast, which is really cool, I think. But that's how I have to clean up, because I get all, like, weirded out by all the amount of polish on my brush. Or polish remover on my brush. Did I just mess up my nail? No, it's not too bad. I really apologize if this was boring for you guys. It wasn't meant to be boring. It was meant to be entertaining. And I don't know if it worked. And let me know if you guys want to see more of these chit-chat, polish with me, paint with me videos or whatever. I don't even remember what I was going to call these. I don't know. Maybe I'll have, like, more stuff to talk about. I don't know. I just like talking to you guys. I just like... <sighs> I don't know. I just like having a friend. You guys are my friends. I would love more than anything in the entire world to like have somebody that lives close to me that wants to talk about polish or shop for polish or something. That would be amazing. That's what I'm kind of hoping I will get out of this um, Pacific Northwest Polish Addicts group. That would just be really cool if I could meet somebody to shop with. That would be cool. Now I'm curious, do you guys have people in your lives that are, I mean, probably, probably not many of you, many of you have people that are in your lives that are as obsessed with nail polish as you, but does, is there anybody that like goes shopping with you that like gets it, that likes to? Like Michael will go with me and he's super sweet. He's actually quite an, he's an enabler. <laughs> he'd be like oh get that one babe it'll look so good on you and it's like don't ever complain about me spending money on polish because <laughs> you are the person that makes me buy it but yeah if you guys have somebody in your life that's awesome you treasure that person I like my sister likes to go with me sometimes too but I don't know like she has like a life and like kids and stuff and I can't just like at the drop of a hat Let's go polish shopping. Let's go. That's weird. Why am I talking in a voice like that? You know, um, upon closer inspection, I'm not too happy with the way that the dots look. They're uneven and weird, but whatever. I'm trying not to get too stressed about this because it's just, it's just nails. It's just painting. It's just, it's just nail art. But then again, I do really want my nails to look really pretty, so... I don't know! <laughs> Am I screaming? I'm sorry. Alright guys, question for you. What do you guys like to do while you're painting your nails? Like, is it one of those things where you have to be, like, complete silence, nobody talk to me, nobody look at me, I can't do anything? Or are you one of those people that needs to have, like, music or, like, TV or something going on in the background? I'm totally one of those people that needs to have something going on or somebody to talk to or something because I would get way too in the zone and way too stressed if I didn't. Sorry, I wasn't in frame for that. I apologize. I usually watch YouTube or sometimes I'll watch Netflix or something while I paint my nails because that's how I roll. I need to stop saying that phrase. It's getting really irritating, I know. I know it is. Now, my fingernails are all, well, not my fingernails, my cuticles are all white casty, which is kind of no bueno, but whatever. 
this is close enough to being cute, right? Like for an Instagram picture. That's close enough to working. Well, it's kind of upside down for you guys. Sorry. <laughs> it's, it, it works. You can at least, I can at least showcase. Oh, geez, my temperature. All right, guys, sorry. My camera cut me off. The internal temperature got too high, but pretty much I just finished cleaning up around the edges and that's pretty much it. This is the finished product. Um, I'm going to go take a picture for Instagram now and then I don't know. I don't know what I think about it. It's good, but it's not great. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Sorry about my dog in the background. <laughs> She's upset because I won't let her bark out the window. Um, let me know what you guys think of this type of video. If you want me to continue to make it, make these because this one's kind of fun. Um, I don't know. I feel like I didn't have as much to talk about in this one <clears throat> as I did in my original attempt at it. And let me know if you want me to even post that original attempt because it's very, it's like half of a video. It's not complete, but I don't know. Just let me know. Sorry, that's my dog. She's trying to like scratch at the floor to get a comfy place to lay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that that's all I have to say. So yeah, just let me know what you think. Um, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, check the social media links down below, especially Instagram. I like to post lots of stuff on there. And yeah, I guess I don't really have anything else to say. Um, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, I think I'll be doing more of these videos. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.